have ever created an expectation for another human being. Okay, good. Comma. Never shared the expectation with them. Comma. Then when they don't fulfill the expectation that they knew nothing about, who are you mad at? But no, that's why I'm single and I'm never getting married. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm just looking. Oh, nothing. Okay, but do you get what I'm saying? We create expectation. How would you like it if I walked by, if I went like this? Okay, why don't you do it? Like that, literally. Like I create expectation in my mind for you to stand up. Why don't you stand up? Did you know? Unless you psychically, did you psychically know that I wanted you to stand up but chose not to do it, or did you not know that I wanted you to stand up? What do you think? Like if I if I if if, if I walk by you and go, okay, well, how rude of you. <laughs> And my, what I wanted you to do was put your pen in the air and swivel it around a couple of times. Why didn't you do it? Yeah, not clearly. Not. Right, okay, but that's your fault, right? But that's how we live. <laughs> we live in that world that we create an expectation of another human being. Don't tell them about it, then it's their fault. That's not even sane. That's not even logical, but that's one of the programs that we've been trapped in. How many of you have expectations that your teachers won't call out by text? <laughs> no. How many of you have, you think I don't know your teachers? You don't think when I walk in and say good morning, they stop and they stop and right? Here's the funny part. Watch how our mind works. First person calls out by text, you're still in ratio. How do you feel? Second person calls out by text, still in ratio. How do you feel? You know where I'm going. Third person calls out. Now you're in the you're in the baby room all day. They're cute, but it smells in there. Now how do you feel? Are you upset at the first person, the second person, the third person? Yeah. Based on no information of no reality, right? But now that person comes in, and now next time they come in, even though are they allowed to take days off? Do they get days? You don't want to say yes, but they get to take days <laughs> off. I understand that. Do you get what I'm saying? So when you create an expectation for another human, if you how many of you create crazy expectations? How many of you are going to pay at all? Or even not go like this when they haven't paid, when they're coming in and they're like, they're like down on the floor like that. And they're, and, they're, and, they're right. and they're trying to hide. But if you create that expect, who knows what's going on in the parent at home? Who knows how much trouble they're having? Who knows if the other person just lost their job? It's up to us. We can either create an expectation for people to pay on time, pick the kids up on time, then when we see them, we change our way of being based on what happens in our mind instead of just going, they're not paying on time because they're not paying on time. You don't give it meaning. They're late because they're late. They looked at me that way because they looked at me that way. So we don't give it meaning, and then we actually, instead of making up stuff in our mind, we actually go like this. Do you have anything for me? Is there any way I can support you in picking your child up on time? <laughs> actually talking. How many of you have ever had a situation where you <laughs> thought one of your friends was upset at you, and then for like months you didn't say a word, or every time you saw them, there's something going on, and there's something weird, and then finally three, four months down the road, they go, what's wrong with you? I go, well, aren't you upset at me? It's like, no. It's like, wow, three months. Like, done. Did that all to yourself. And the teachers do the same thing when they're when they're being upset at each other. 